Good morning. Today we're going to do a chair workout for all my friends that are injured or for people that just want a chair exercise program. This program's for you. All right. So we're going to start off with a warm up. Um, just to let you know, you do need a chair. Obviously, um, you can use some weights as well. If you don't have weights, you can use um, um, water bottles. Um, also, I'll show you how to do some straps on some bands. I have some round bands. If you have the long bands, you can use those as well. Um, but uh, really, you don't even need anything. Okay, we're going to use our body resistance. As you can see, I have my assist assistant here. Um, who is your name? <laughs> this is Dory. All right, so we're gonna start off with a warm up. Um, I may have other assistants join us throughout the workout. All right, so we're gonna start off with a warm up. All right, so let's do a nice big um, arm circles all the way around for three, two, one, and the other way. One, two, and three. And the other arm, one. So really we're just working on range of motion here. We're loosening up all the joints. Two, and three. And then let's take our arms out to the side. Okay, you're gonna relax those shoulders, kind of push them back a bit and relax them down. So they're right in their sockets. All right, so this is called wipers. So I kind of want you to have your rib cage up off your hip bones. You'll hear me say that a lot because that means that your core is engaged as well, okay? And your belly to your back. All right, so rib cage up off your hip bones and we're gonna bring the left arm over to the right and back. And when you're coming back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Two, three, and four. Four, and the other side, one. Squeeze those shoulder blades, two, three, and four, and bring them down. All right, nice big shoulder rolls all the way up and around. Come all the way up to your ear, come all the way back and down and around, and the other way. Nice, big, easy breathing in, bringing that breath down to your belly and then back out. All right, we're gonna do, it's gonna kind of call the windmill. All right, so you're just going to, again, rib cage up and belly in, okay? So one arm comes up and you're just gonna reach down the side. When you bring your belly to your back, that also prevents you from, um, arching your back as well as leaning forward. All right, so just reach. And when your arm is down, reach that pinky finger up to the sky and then switch it over to the other side. And again, pinky to the sky. You're gonna feel a stretch right from your pinky all the way down to your hip and back, belly to your back. Last one, and back. All right, we're going to do a full body roll down. So let's bring our hands up to the sky, open up those legs a tiny little bit, and we're gonna bring our hands down. You're gonna bring your belly to your back, chin to your chest, come all the way down to the ground. Stay here for a second. I want you to try to feel your lowest vertebrae in your back. So you might have to bring that belly to your back. And then we're going to roll up that spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. All right, so just nice and slowly, bring the belly to your back, start coming up, all the way up, and roll the shoulders back and down. Let's do that again, all the way up, all the way down, chin to chest, belly to your back, and down, and we're gonna roll all the way back up. Try to visualize those vertebrae opening up, you're all the way up your spine and roll those shoulders back. 
All right, we're going to just have our hands to our side now, and we're just going to bring our right leg out and in. Two, three, four, and five. And the other leg. One, two, squeeze that quad when you're up there. Three, four, and again, rib cage up off your hip bones. And six, all right? And we're going to just take our hip now and we're going to roll, make circles with your knees. Two, and three, now the other way. One, two, and three, and the other leg. One, you're just, if you need to come off the edge of your seat, do that. Three, and the other way, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to roll our ankle around, if you can, if you don't have a bad one, and roll it the other way, and roll this leg, ankle, roll it the other way. All right, sit back a little bit, and again, rib cage up, your feet are up off the mat, and let's do circles this way, and circles this way, and bringing your fingertips back towards your shoulders and your toes towards your knees and point. Flex, point, flex. Okay, keep it up flex. Let's open our toes and scrunch our fingers and toes. Open both, scrunch them both. Open and scrunch and up and down and bring them back. Right, we're gonna take our, our chin and we're gonna take it over to our right shoulder. Nice big deep breath in and out. And then bring it all the way over to the left. Nice big deep breath in and out. And back to center. We're gonna take our right ear. Take it over to our, okay, your shoulders are back and down and relaxed. Don't lift your shoulder up. Keep them down and take that right ear over to the right shoulder. You're gonna feel the stretch all the way from your ear down to your shoulder. It's not a big movement and let's go to the other side, nice and slow. You may feel one side a little bit easier to do than the other. This side's quite short for me. All right, and back to center. So that was our warm up. All right. So we're just going to do a little bit of cardio here to get our heart um, up a little bit. So we're just going to start off with marching. So you may want to come to the edge of your mat a little bit. And again, rib cage up. And we're marching. Okay. Doesn't matter how hard, you, how fast you go. All right, I want your belly pulled into your back and I want you breathing. All right, and now we're gonna do jack. So open and close. Okay, I'm go try, if you can go all the way up. I cannot, I'm just going to my shoulder height. If it, anything hurts at any time, stop doing it, all right? And if you're not sure, just don't do the full range, all right? If I go all the way up, I hear it clicking in my shoulders. I wanna do that. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do 40 more seconds of marching. Try to get your knees up a little higher if you want, or they can go faster like this if you like. It's totally up to you. Just keep that rib cage up and your shoulders nice and relaxed down. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So we're going to work on our upper body first, all right? So we're going to tap our hands to the side on your chair. And if you want, move over, move forward. And we're going to do some body lifts. So you're just going to lift your body up off the chair. Hold it. Three, two, one. And down. And up. And down. And up. Down. And up again, keep that rib cage up off your hip bones and belly to your back and down and shoulders are kind of just pushed back a bit. Last one. Actually, you know, we have eight to do and down. We have two more to do all the way up. And down, last one and up and down. All right, we're going to do lat pull downs. So if you wanted to use weights, okay, these are just two pound weights. Okay, we're just gonna pull it down like this, all right? Um, or if you have a band, you can put it around your wrist and do the same, all right? Okay, I'm not gonna use anything and I really don't think you need to use anything. All right, so you're going to hang up here. You're gonna pull that rope from the top, pull that rope down. Okay, in front, I don't want you to go into the back. Okay, pull that rope and pull it down. Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we're gonna change it over and we're gonna do reverse flies. So you're just gonna lean forward a bit, have your arms out in front, just in front of your toes. Right, your knees are probably about hip width apart, okay? And then you're going to bring it back. And as you bring that back, you're squeezing your shoulder blades. Two, three, come on, pull it back. Again, you're pulling a rope back. Four, five, six, seven, squeeze those shoulder blades and eight and back down all right bicep curls and again if you want grab some weights if you have them if you don't you just squeeze your fist together and bring them up your elbows are right beside your your uh, rib cage and they're not moving it's your forearm in your hand three squeeze four five six, seven, and eight, and back down. And let's put those weights down, if you had weights. And we're going to just do our small muscles in our arms. So let's reach our arms out to the side. Again, rib cage up. Your body is, is lengthened in all the way up. Your arms are stretched out and your shoulders are back and relaxed reaching for those opposite walls. Okay, let's reach those index fingers to those opposite walls, stretch. Now your loud finger and your ring finger and then your baby, all right? Shoulders are relaxed, all right? We're going to pulse it forward for six. Okay, push it, it's like pushing cement. Feel the tiny muscles working in your arms. Four, five, Six, turn your palms backwards, pulse it back. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and all the way up, push it up. One, two, three, four. I want you to try to see, feel what muscles are working and which way is different, right? Six, and down, push it down. One, two, Three, come on, it's pushing cement, push it down. Four, five, and six. And let's do six circles forward. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And the other way, one, two, three, four, 
five and six and bring them down. All right, bring the, let those shoulders relax for a bit, right? All right, so we're just going to get back into our cardio for a second, all right? So we're going to do um, punching and leg wrists, okay? So I want you to, to punch, okay? Opposite arm, opposite leg. Punch it out. Keep going. Rib cage is up, your shoulders are relaxed. Try to punch out from your shoulders. Keep the belly pulled in, sitting up nice and tall. We have 20 more seconds. Make sure you're breathing. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna do the punching ball for 10, for 15 seconds. All right, so let's punch it out. Fast, fast, fast. All right, and the other way now, 15. All right, and back down. And now we're going to punch it out again. All right, this time let's punch the same arm, the same leg. Okay, you're standing up nice and tall. And again, if you wanted to, you could have a weight in hand, water bottle in hand. If you want more out of your workout, sit up tall. Ten more seconds, and we're back to punching bag. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do punching bag for 15. All right, and the other way for 15. Relax that neck, don't have it tense. Move it around. All right, and down. Okay, now we're going to do a uppercut. All right, so we're doing it for 30 seconds. All right, so uppercut is cut across and then punch up. Uppercut. Ready? And we're going. Relax those shoulders down. Don't have them up to your neck. Relax them down. And we're going to do the other side in three, two, and one. All right, so punch across and bring that other arm up. Cross up. Okay, I'm slowing down with this arm. I'm starting to feel it. Cross up. Keep the belly pulled in. Ready? Four, three, two, and one. All right, punching bags. 15 and 15. Nice big easy breath in and out. All right, and the other way. Relax those shoulders. And all the way back down. Nicely done. Oh, all right. We're going to do our uh, lower body. All right. So um, I'm going to be standing up. 
behind the chair. Okay, just like this. And we're just gonna do the standard swing the leg side to side, okay? All right, so bring your leg out to the side, but I want you to kind of try to keep your hips square. Out to the side and swing it in front for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're doing 10, nine and 10. All right, you're gonna bend that leg and push it back. And I want you to squeeze that glute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let's do the other leg. Swing in in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And bend that leg, your sole of your foot, okay? You're gonna push that wall back. One, two, three, squeeze that glute. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Okay, we're gonna do some knee crunches now. So right arm to left knee. All right, you're gonna bring that knee and out again. One, I really want you to bring your belly into your back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 and the other side. All right, so opposite arm, opposite leg. One, two, three, four. Bring the belly in, it looks like you have a nut in your belly and you're gonna crack it. Seven, I don't know where we are, eight. I'm not a very good counter. Nine and 10. All right, now we're just gonna do some hip circles so you can hang on to here. Okay, I'm just gonna show you what, so again, we're just doing this. All right, making circles with your hips. All right, so one, two, three, four, and let's do the other way. One, two, three, and four, and the other leg. One, two, three, four, and the other way. One, two, three, and four. And we're gonna do our squats, all right? So have your feet about hip width apart, hanging on. You might, might wanna back up a little tiny bit, but always hang on. All right, so your chest is open. You're gonna look straight ahead. Your booty's gonna go back behind and then come up and I want you to squeeze both glutes. All right, so down and up. One, two, squeeze, three, four, five, six. You're looking straight forward, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome stuff. Okay, we're gonna sit down on your chair again. So come and sit down. If Let's grab a drink of water. We'll have a little break here. Grab a drink. I kind of forget to offer that. All right. All right, so we're gonna get our heart rate up again. So we're gonna do mountain climbers. And that's just like this, right? So straight up and down. And like what I said, belly in. So your rib cage is up off your hip bones and your core is engaged. All right, so let's go. One, two, three. Sorry, I'm not counting. Keep that belly pulled in, reach up. I'm not gonna go high, guys. I can't go over my head. You guys go up. Two, I forget, I don't know how to count. 
my clock going? Breathing in all the way through your belly and then back out. All right, five more seconds. Three, two, and one. And we're gonna do toe taps. All right, so bring it over. Belly in. Feel the twist in your torso, okay? Keep that belly in your rib cage up off your hip bones. Ready? And mountain climbers again for 30. All the way up if you can, right? All the way up. Climbing up a mountain. Woo rib cage up off your hip bones. Are right, you ready? Back to toe touching. Come on, get the rib cage up off your hip bones. Elongate that whole torso there. Ready? Four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Now we're gonna do the whole core, okay? So we're gonna do right leg tucks, all right? So I want you to come, just lean back a little bit, okay? I want your belly, again, your rib cage up, but your belly in, all right? And we're just going to tuck this, this knee into your chest and then back out. One, really, okay, I want you to lengthen your torso, Breathe out and in. Three, four, five. Hug that knee. Six, we're just doing eight. Seven and eight. And the other leg. One, two. Try to bring that knee right. See where it is on me, right to my shoulder. So it's directly above my hip. Right at my shoulder. Four. Five. Push it out. Six. Seven. And eight. All right. Now come to the edge of your mat. Now, a lot, a lot of people won't be able to do this, maybe. All right. But you're leaning back and both knees and push it out. One. Two. Keep the belly pulled in. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Really bring that belly into your back. All right. And now we're gonna do side bends again, okay? But this time, let's have our hands behind our head. Or if you have weights, use your weights. Okay, and go all the way over. I don't need my weights. Okay, stretch, stretch, stretch that baby figure up there and the other way. That belly pulled into your back so we're not arching, right? We're using our obliques here. And all these muscles right around the side, getting stretching out that muffin top. Really reach. And back down. Okay, we're going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to do snow angels <clears throat> and clapping underneath the leg, all right? so. This is what a snow angel looks like, but you're gonna go one, two, three. Let's just do one arm at a time, okay? 
I'm not going to go all the way up. I would like you to, though. One, two, three, four, five. Bring that knee up. Six, seven, and eight. Now the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And leaving that your feet down with your heels. All right, I just want you to touch down, come back up and touch down. One, opposite arm, opposite leg. Two, three, four, keep the belly pulled in, the rib cage up off your hip bones. Five, six, no, seven, we're doing 12 because I'm counting each leg. Keep the belly pulled into your back. One more per side. One and two. All right. Now we're all the way back to the beginning. All right. So we're going to start off with 30 seconds, 40 seconds of marching. Ready? Let's go. Sorry. March away. So I always say belly to your back because that protects your back. And I like to you do that whenever I'm bending down to pick up something, belly to your back. If I'm reaching up to the, up in the cupboard, belly to your back. You're pushing your muscles towards your back and protecting your back from getting injured. So it's a, always a good thing to keep practicing belly to the back, rib cage up, right? All right, now jacks. Again, go all the way up if you can, and if you can't, shoulder height is good. Ready? And marching. Two sets. All right, and last jacks. Woo! And we're done. All right, we're back to body lifts. All right, so hands up to your side. Right, shoulders are back and <clears throat> and relax in their sockets. <clears throat> if you want, you can move out. And we're going to lift our bodies up, holding for three, and down. Up. And down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Keep those shoulders back and down. Up. Down, two more, up. Where's your belly? Last one. And down. All right, again, we're gonna do lat pull downs. All right, you can have a band or weights reaching up and you're pulling down, right? Keeping your shoulders back and in their sockets. Two, pull that rope down. Pull it down if you're not using weights or band. Ten. All right. Reverse flies. Bring those hands out front. Shoulders are back. Right. If you push them back, hands are out in front. And we're going to squeeze our elbows back, leading with your elbows, and squeeze those shoulder blades and muscles in the back. Two. Three. Four. Feel those shoulder blades and muscles working in the back, leading with those elbows. Five. Six. 
seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. All right, bicep curls. Again, if you have weights, if not, you're just squeezing those fists as you're bringing them up. Two, three, four, five, six, think of those biceps, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome stuff. Give those arms a nice little shake. And we're bringing them out to the side. Lengthen those arms, relax those shoulders back. Rip cage up off those hip bones and belly in, and we're gonna push it forward. One, two, where do you feel these muscles working? Three, four, I call these the small muscle movements. Five, six, and backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, palms are up, push it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and down. Push that cement down. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and forward circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and backwards, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bring them down. Woo! All right. Let's give them a nice little shake a room. All right, because we're back to punching with your leg. All right, 30 seconds of each exercise, okay? Punching with your leg. We're gonna do opposite leg and opposite punch. Here we are, let's go. Punch it out. Nice little puff of air as you're punching out and you're sitting up nice and tall. Ready and punching bag. Five more, oh, let's go backwards. Sorry, didn't go backwards for long. And we're back to punching here with the same leg and same arm this time. Sitting tall. Six more seconds and we're back to punching bag. Are you ready? Four, three, two, and one, and 15 seconds. Let's go. All right, other way. And we're done, all right, we're not done. We're doing uppercut, right? All right, so we're gonna cut, punch across the side and then punch it up. I really want you to punch it up. Okay, punch it up, ready? Let's go. All right, and the other side. Punch it across, uppercut up. Punch up. All right, and punching bags. And backwards. And 
and down. All right, we're back up behind our chair, okay? So let's stand up all the way behind the chair if you want, grab a drink. This is the time to grab a drink if you want to. All right, actually I think I will. Okay, and all right, we're going to bring this leg out to the side and across the front, all right, for 10, nine, belly in, rib cage up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend that knee, push it back, squeeze that glute. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, squeeze, and ten. And let's do the other leg across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and 90 degree angle of that foot. Your foot is gonna push that wall away. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good stuff. All right. We're gonna do knee crunches, all right? So let's do opposite elbow to opposite knee, all right? One, two, and lengthen. I want you to really lengthen and crunch it. You have a nut in your belly button. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, all right, and other side, all right? One, two, three, four, five, crunch it, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's do some hip circles, bringing it all the way around, one, two, and three, and the other way. Three, two, and one, and the other leg. One, two, three, and the other way. Three, two, and one. All right, coming back to your chair, facing your chair, we're gonna do some calf raises. So I want you to go up on your tippy toes, squeezing those calves. And let's go up and down for one, pulsing. Two, squeeze those calves at the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And up and down. Awesome stuff. We gotta do our squats. All right, so feet hip width apart, hands on your chair, and you're gonna push your booty way back, okay? Your chest is open, you're looking straight forward. Come up, squeeze both glutes. Ready, one, two, belly to your back. Three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze, Eight, nine, and 10. Squeeze, awesome stuff. All right, let's back down on our, on our chairs. Whew. All right, we're gonna do our cardio again, and that's mountain climber, all right? So we're just climbing the mountain up and down, ready? Rib cage up, belly in, let's go. Remember, I'm not gonna go all the way up, but if you can go all the way up to the sky, reach as high as you can, all right? Belly in.
fun. Get that rib cage up off your hip bones. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and toe taps, right? So your heels are down. I want you to tap, bring in a back. Belly into your back. One more per side, one, and two, and back. All right, good stuff. All right, we're going to do um, some legs again. Okay, so sitting back nice and tall, and I want you to lift that leg up and draw circles. One, two, three, and the other way. Three, two, one, and down. Up, hold it, one, two, three, and three, two, one, and down. All the way up, and down. Up, down, up, down. Other leg. And down, I have the fireplace on and I'm absolutely sweating. All right, we're gonna do some core work now, again. So we're going to do our tucks, right? So you can have your um, arms at the side and I want you to just tuck and bring them down. One, push that leg out, tuck it in. Two, where's your rib cage? Three, four, five, Bring that belly to your back. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, other side. One, really hug it. Sitting nice and tall. Two, three, four, five, Six, bring it in, that belly to your back. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's go to the side, all right? Again, if you have weights, you can use your weights, but I want your rib cage up and your belly's in, all right? So let's reach down. Little baby finger reaching for the sky, your other hand's reaching for the ground. Belly to your back and switch it around. First time is always really slow until you get that reach lengthen and then you can go faster if you like. One, keep the rib cage up off your hip bones. Two, three, four, five, Six, keep the belly in. Seven, last one, and eight, and back down. Okay, we're going to do snow angel, clap underneath the knee, all right? So again, start up here if you can, and I just want you to clap, all right? And top down, one, two. I'm not gonna go high, okay? Three. Four, and again, sitting tall. Five, six, seven. I'll go slower because you're going all the way up to the sky. Eight, nine, 10, other leg. One, come on, clap up there and clap down here. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine and 10. Crunch it in, all right. And again, if you want, you can do um, both knees, all right? So you've got to lean back, belly to your back, bring your knees in and push them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep that belly pulled to your back to protect your back. Seven and eight. All right, alternate uh, tapping of the leg. So, okay, I want you to go up and down, okay? One, two, reach for that toe. Three, four, five, belly to your back. Six, seven, and eight, and other side. One, two, three, four, Five, kind of tap on the outside of your foot if you can. Six, belly in, seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. All right, let's pat those legs, pat those quads. I'm feeling those quads anyways. Awesome stuff. All right, we're just going to uh, do a little bit of a cool down here. I'm sweating. I do have the fireplace on. All right. So let's just take a nice big deep breath in, bringing those hands all the way up to the sky. Nice big deep breath in and just reach over to one side and reach over to the other side. Reaching that baby finger, feel the stretch all down your side. And the whole time your belly's pulled into your back. Nice big deep breath in, reaching all the way up to the sky. And let's bring those hands all the way down those walls. Let's do a couple um, shoulder rolls, three backwards and three forwards. You go, I want you to do big circles. I cannot do these right anymore. All right, okay. Let's uh, do your hip. Okay, so sitting nice and tall, draw a circle with your hip. Three, and the other way. Three, two, and one, and the other leg. Just draw a circle. Sitting tall. Three, two, and one. All right, let's put our legs out in front of us. Come to the edge of, the, of your chair. Okay, and we're just going to... I don't want you to fall, so don't fall off your chair, but I just want you to slide your hands down your leg. Right, bring your hands down to the floor if you can. Toes, your heels are on the mat. Bring your hands to your feet if you can. You might feel more secure if your hands are on the, on the floor and then Slide all the way back up, nice and slowly. All the way up and roll those shoulders back and bring your hands to your lower back and just look up and back. And let's do that again. Bring your hands all the way up to the sky. Okay, and this time we're gonna walk our hands down the ceiling. Your heels are on the mat. Okay, down the wall in front of you. Coming all the way down to your toes, if you can. Bring your hands down to the mat. You're just hanging here. It's a nice stretch of your glutes and your hammies here. Hands on your calves and start rolling back up. And roll those shoulders back, bringing your hands to your lower back and back. All right, I'm just gonna do a couple um, cat and cows. So, so I want your hands on top of your knees. I want you to push your hands into your knees and away from your, and then resist pushing those um, hands forward. So into your knees, push them away, all right? And as you're doing that, I want you to round I want you to round your chin to your chest 
Keep that resistance. You're going to feel it in your upper shoulders and release. And do that again. So push into your knees and resist. And then round your shoulders and bring your chin to your chest. Keep pushing away and release. And this time you're going to push into your um, knees and resist bringing those hands back. And we're going to do cow, and you're going to start looking all the way up. Keep that resistance and release. Push into your legs, resist bringing those hands to your body, and look all the way back. And return. All right, let's roll our wrists and our feet around. Go the other way. Let's take, um, bend your, um, your left leg over top of your right knee. Put a little pressure on or just let gravity work. Just sitting tall. Okay, let's take that right hand, place it over top of the, the uh, left knee and then look behind. Nice big deep breath in and out. And let's switch feet, bring that left, right foot up. If you can put a little pressure, but I think gravity is just going to be enough. <sighs> nice big deep breath in and out. And let's take that left hand, place it over that right knee and look behind. Take a nice big deep breath in and out. and come back to center. Awesome stuff, okay. Let's um, take our hands into cactus, right? And we're going to bring our hands together and you're gonna place your right elbow over top of your left elbow and then just entwine hands. Switch it back up and the other side. Left elbow onto right elbow. And bring them down. And then I just want you to reach around your shoulders. Give your body a hug. Open up and do the other side. Give your body a hug and come back down. All right. We are going to take our hands behind our backs and entwine your fingers, right? We're just gonna bring our chest down to our knees, rest, right? And then I want you to just have nice big deep breaths going into your belly as you're bringing your hands up towards the ceiling. Nice big deep breath out. And then bring them all the way back down. Bring them down to the, just let them flop uh, uh, in front of your toes here. Okay, we're just, our chest is on our, our quads here. Your hands are just on your toes. All right, we're going to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. All right, so I want you to just bring your chest up off your, your, your quads a tiny little bit and belly to your back. And I just want you to try to find the lowest vertebrae in your spine that you can feel. Your hands are just coming up to the side of your legs there. Okay, and when you found that lowest vertebrae, I want you to try to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up your spine. You gotta bring that belly to your back. Start straightening up a little tiny bit. Okay, I'm just over top of my shoulder blades. My chin is coming up and I'm gonna roll my shoulders back. All right, and let's just um, look after our neck here now. So let's bring our, our again, we'll relax your shoulders into their sockets and bring that ear to your right shoulder. Let it just stay there. And leaving it there, I want you to, Look up with your eyeballs and look down with your eyeballs. 
and come back to center. And let's go to the other side. Relaxing those shoulders. I don't want one your shoulders going up. Rest them back. All right. Eyeballs up. Eyeballs down. And back to center. And let's just draw three circles with your nose. One, two, three, and the other way. Three, two, and one. All right, that's it for today. So high fives. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you can do it. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, send me a text. All right, have a great day.